Hi everyone, this is Paul Cooper and I'm bringing your ninth Note Nugget Minute. And on this episode, we're going to cover the basic components that go into a yield calculation. You can find these online. A lot of your phones will have them, or you can go to the uh, Google or Apple store and download them for about five to 10 bucks, pretty cheap. And they'll allow you to do more than you'll probably ever need to do. Basic components of a yield calculation are going to be the PV, which stands for present value, the I over Y, which stands for the interest rate over a year. And you can change that, but you're gonna to wanna to calculate the annual yield usually. You're going to have the N, which is the number of months. That's what we'll want to use. Again, you can change that, but N is basically the term of the loan or the amount of payments you should be receiving. You're gonna have the P and I, which is the principal and interest payment. And you need to remember in most calculations, you'll need to make that negative. So it actually subtracts it from the present value. And the present value is just what the uh, what the current balance is for the note. And so it needs to be negative so it subtracts to it, otherwise you're not gonna get a correct calculation. And then lastly, on a lot of these, you'll see FV, which stands for future value. And you will want to set that to zero because the future value of the note should pay off and that loan amount should be zero. And those are the basic components of a yield calculation on a financial calculator. I have a lot more videos that'll show you how to actually use this. But those are just the basic terms, and I hope you're a little bit more familiar with them now. And that wraps up this video, and we'll be bringing more videos to you soon. Thank you.